Welcome. So since the new Teams client's not in the new Windows 365 image, we're going to take you through creating a custom image to get that done. So I'm going to hit Create, Azure Virtual Machine. And I've got a blog article on this already, but I figured it would be nice and easy to show you. So I'm going to just call this Windows 365 Image. The key here is on their security type, you can do Standard, or you won't be able to capture it. And you can see here, I'm picking the Windows 11 Enterprise Cloud PC with apps 23H2. Pretty standard. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create an account. So pretty simple. Confirm on the licensing, hit review, create. And then we're going to basically wait for this VM to come up. Then once it comes up, we'll RDP and do a couple of things real quick to get it ready. You can see here all validation pass. I'm going to hit create. We're going to give it a little bit of time to kind of do its thing now at this juncture. So you can see here that it shows deployment complete. I'm going to click go to resource. And so from this part, we're going to go connect. And we're going to use this cool little just-in-time policy thing, hit configure. Select my local IP. And now I can hit select to connect to it. Now we're just going to log into it. So we're just going to wait for it to log in. Just for verification, you can see I have to go through the your standard setup wizard stuff. No big deal. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to copy a few things. The great thing about using these built-in machines is that it takes care of a lot of the prerequisites. So one thing that we're going to do, or number one thing that we're going to do here, is we're going to go in and update C. As it does install it, but there is a slightly newer version. So Visual C install. It's going to do its thing. So we're not going to restart just yet. We're now going to install. We're now going to install the Teams Bootstrapper. So what this does is it goes and gets an Apex, pulls it down, installs that pretty cool client. Sorry, I mean MSIX, obviously. But yes, yeah, so this is going to kind of do its thing. It'll take a second. And then when it's done, we'll see the new Teams client on there. And then we only have one, le one other thing left to do. Because from a prerequisite perspective, the stuff that it does take care of for you outside of installing C is it puts down the AVD registry key to help with the optimization and it also installs uh, WebView 2, which is also required. So you can see there, Teams, pretty cool. And the only thing we have left to do now at this point is run the optimization, reboot, and capture. So now we're going to run the VDOT, which is the Virtual Desktop Optimization Tool, which those of you who are pros from the C Citrix or Horizon, you're familiar with that kind of stuff. So pretty simple, I'm going to run this command, and then we're going to run the second command, and it's actually going to do the optimization. If we actually go to the right folder, of course. Okay, so this is going to run, we'll just pause it here. Okay, now that that's done, we're just going to restart computer, and after that we will do a sysprep. Okay, now that we're back, we're just going to sysprep, and then we, can, then we can capture. And that's kind of the brilliance of this, is just how easy it is to do this. For those of you who are used to doing this in the past, it's a lot more work, but not anymore. So now this is just going to sysprep. Once it actually hits stopped, I'll click stop just to make sure it gets deallocated.
as I've just found that it just takes too long for it to deallocate on its own, but we'll get there. You can see it's stop and not deallocated, so we're just going to click stop, which is fine. No big deal. Okay, so now it's deallocated, so we just go capture. I'm going to select my resource group. You're going to click no, capture only a managed image. We're going to automatically delete. And we'll call it whatever we want to call it. That's fine. Then you're going to hit a review and create. And create. And this will actually go through the process of creating the image. Now, as far as the actual, you know, how you upload it and do all that, um, I'll hook you up my article in the comments. What we really just want to see here is we're now at about the 10 minute mark overall is our finished example. So you can see here, it's a little bit different than what you would have been used to, right? Hit the triple dots, hit settings, and then you click about teams down here and it's actually going to tell you it's AVD media optimized. That's how you know it works. And if you want to go, you know, go all old school on it, another great way to do it is you go to devices and it, you can see here it's actually picking up on my speakers and my microphones, which show you this worked and we did an awesome job.